to share about the elbow crutches. Firstly, elbow crutches are one of the mobility aids that are used to take off weight in the lower limb of the patient by increasing the weight in the upper limb. It can be used in many ways such as full weight bearing, partial weight bearing, and non weight bearing. So, what is the function of the elbow crutches? First, it helps to transfer the body's weight from an injured leg or foot to the upper body. It used to assist individuals with lower extremity injuries or neurological impairment. And it also can provide the assistance to the patient who needs to resume regular walking or can assist them with balance. The elbow crutches are used by a variety of people for different reasons including those recovering from injuries requiring to be non-weight bearing or partial weight bearing through the injured limb. People with reduced balance, strength, or endurance while walking. Next, people with pain, weakness, or instability in any part of their leg, for example, hip, knee, or ankle, and requiring more support than a walking stick. It is also suitable for patients with weak hip abductor and extensor. Guys, do you know what is the main parts of the elbow crutches? Okay, first is U-shaped calf, hand grip, rubber tip, adjustable calf, and adjustable height. Now, let's see part by part. Here is the U-shaped calf, the collar, the adjustable calf, hand grip, the adjustable height, the collar, and the rubber tip. It is really important to know how to measure the elbow crutches. First step, stand with arms relaxed by wearing usual shoes. Then, the hand grip of the crutches should align with the wrist joint when your arm is by your side. To adjust the height, loosen the collar underneath the adjustment holes. Next, depress the spring buttons on the crutch and lengthen or shorten accordingly. And lastly, allow for elbow to be slightly bent. It is about 30 degrees of flexion or 2 to 3 inch below elbow when holding the hand grips. For this type of the elbow crutches, the adjustment of height and the hand grip is standardized in an inch distance. For the youth, the range is from 4 feet 5 inch to 5 feet 5 inch, while for the adult, 5 feet 3 inch to 6 feet 2 inch. As you can see at the red arrow, the bottom tip of the crush should stay between 4 to 6 inch from anterior and lateral to 5th toe. Do you ever wonder how to use the elbow crutches? Let's learn together. Standing procedure. Hold the crutches in one hand by grips in his shape. Then push on the arm of the chair with the other hand. Next, stand up using an affected leg. And last, slip the arms through the U shaped cuff. Sitting procedure. Firstly, remove the arms from the cuff before sitting. Uh -huh. Make sure the chair is right behind the body. Put both crutches together to make his shape to support the body when sitting. And last, slowly lower the body onto the seat. Non weight bearing procedure. First step stand up on the unaffected leg, keeping the affected foot off the floor. Next, place both crutches one step in front and level with each other. Then, move the body forward between the crutches, supporting the body weight through the hands and good leg. 
and bring your body level with the crutches once again. Partial weight bearing procedure. First step, try to walk as normally as possible with the whole foot touching the floor. Second step, place both of the crutches one step to the front and level with each other. Third step, put the affected leg forwards between the two crutches. Then, step through with the unaffected leg while taking some of the weight through the hands and some through affected leg. Full Big Bearing Procedure Once standing, place both crutches one step to the front and lift it with each other. Then, put the affected leg forwards between the two crutches. Then, bring the unaffected leg with the affected leg. When transferring the weight to the toes, use the crutches to prevent from limping. For turning steps, when turning, make a white circle and make sure to use an affected leg and avoid twisting on your feet. Let's move on to the evidence of effectiveness when using the elbow crutches. According to Kachanatu et al. 2011, when using the elbow crutches for early mobilization, it will improve knee stability and lie some fashioning knee score of the patient. And, according to Rose et al. 1980, when using the elbow crutches, it will increase on the supporting limb during ambulation. While evidence for training, according to Herbman et al. 2012, they conducted a study about partial weight bearing training that started on day 2 or 3 post-operatively and given once per day during the entire hospital stay. Meanwhile, according to the latest study by Chow et al. 2021, they conducted balance practice with elbow crutches that last for 20 minutes. They include the outdoor walking training, moving up and down stair training, and walking endurance training. That's all from me. Thank you for watching.